Hello, everybody out there in chat. Happy 801. It's time for another impromptu banjo race starring iCup Speedruns and Eric Sanks. Join with me on commentary is TSR Storm. Say hi, everybody. Yo, yo. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot to say before we get started, other than once again, we do have a loser's bracket match. So, unfortunately, the loser of this race will be out of the tournament. So, oh, no. a lot. No pressure. Yeah, a lot on stake here. Yeah, no pressure right before you guys start your race. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I should stream the call for uh, oh, yeah. TSR just so he can actually yep. see what's going on. There we go. And uh, I'll, uh, I think we're ready to get started. So if everyone's in chat, well, if everyone in chat, they can be ready whenever they want. So anyway, we're ready to go. So I'll count you guys down, and then we'll start it up. So get ready to start in three, two, one, go. And good luck. Good luck. And good luck. Let's go. Good luck. All right. And off they go. And wow, for some reason, iCup was like yeah. way ahead. I think Eric's stream is lagging a bit. Yeah. So dropping frames. But. Whatever. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. But, yep, so... I think, so, iCup does no RBA, right? And then Eryx does RBA, but no bit clips. Yes. I think that's the route. So. Yep. Oh, yeah, Eryx is lagging behind a little bit, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, clarif to clarify what that means, uh, Eryx will be doing, uh, you know, RBA, but... Uh, he won't be doing MMM early, and so he is going to do 450 skip. Mm hmm But, so the route won't look that much different. Just one extra yeah. one extra beak bomb clip in the lobby. And a swim over to the puzzle. Which yeah. Is pretty slow, but, you know. Ha good the, the, the benefit from doing that is that big-ass... Uh, Talon trot dive that's right after you open the puzzle. Oh yeah, yeah, that's satisfying as hell. I mean, is it worth like swimming a minute over to this, you know, to the puzzle? Probably not, but <laughs> it's some good downtime, so it's nice. Yeah, but we gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know which, which uh, who's ahead. Well, the their timers are synced, so I think Eric's stream is like bugging out a bit, but it's like jumping ahead after it's done. So, Eric's is ahead right now. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, interesting bottle skip attempt. Oh, oh I both of not getting it. <laughs> Yeah. Went a little bit too far forward, so yeah, no bottle skips. Yep. Gotta be talking to bottles. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for Bingo Summit, like, any weekday evening or weekend evening, it doesn't matter to me. As long as it's in the, as it's in the evening, I can do it. Early in the day be, uh, be pretty bad. Rip everyone. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. What happened, Dingpot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one voted for zero backflips in the poll. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I cup jumped a little bit too far. Did he forget the jiggy? No one forgot the jiggy. You can't enter Mumbo's Mountain if you don't get the Jiggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't have any uh, a... MM earlies. Actually, well, yeah. there is one, but it's Taz only. But yeah. Not humanly possible, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I mean, they'd have to be like, you know... <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. Not humanly possible. Maybe someday. Yeah. Maybe this Taz guy will come out of the, you know woodwork and reveal who he is. He'll do it for mm -hmm. everyone. 
So we're seeing slightly different routes in the MMs. Icup's doing the old route where you start with the huts and Eric Sanks is going to the huts last. Yep. But, I mean... Icup, what are you what doing? Uh... Oh, he, he uh, reset his joystick, I think. Oh, interesting. Has he got some, like, drift on it? Uh, probably. Yeah. Or maybe when he was trying to do the jumps, he, like, accidentally, like, reset his joystick, which is kind of weird, because in order to reset your joystick, you have to press start, so... Um, it happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I I don't really understand it, but... Maybe I forgot to remove his rubber band. Well, he, w he already had to cancel text during bottles. So he wouldn't have been able to cancel that if he... And so he already had his rubber band off for sure. I, I don't really know what happened there. I'll have to open up a little notepad. Oh. Missing the note. Got our eggs. Nice. Well executed. <laughs> You got 29k. Bro, you're richer than me. <laughs> then again, I did like talk last stream about how I lost like every single one of my channel points in the rando tournament. <laughs> I bet did you bet it on course. trap? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow, nice, sync. Nice yeah, I love I love seeing sync jiggy grabs like that. Yeah. It was great. Oh, you were counting first try backflips, not bottle skips. I'm so used to a uh, bottle skip. Oh, yeah. Shout out a banjo runner. I'll let you take this one. We well, shout out a banjo runner. Uh, I don't know. I. Let me think. Um, I like to shout out. Uh, I believe his name is Banjo underscore Guy in the in the Discord. He's been asking a lot of questions about. Oh yeah. BK. I have some really fun chats in there. So shout out <laughs> to that guy. He's cool. Is he learning or? Yeah, I think so. Poggers. I can't wait until the day I can like focus back on BK and learn all the strats and then have Asmi talk shit about me. <laughs> it's like every Banjo Runner's dream to disappoint Asmi. Yep. Missing the hut. How many competitors are in this cup? We've had a few drop out since the beginning, so I think there was 63 when the tournament started, and I think... I counted 11 have dropped, so it's, uh, yeah, I think we're at 52 still, which is still a sizable number. Oh, yeah. But some people, like, only dropped, some people didn't do matches and dropped, and some people did do matches, but because of how they scheduled, you know, they just had to, like, forfeit their, you know, matches, so... Mm -hmm. I think only yeah. five or six people actually forfeited the tournament without doing any matches. So, I still think that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pembles, thanks for the raid. Yo, Pembles raid, let's go. Go, go, I don't question Juju. Like, at this point, Juju, like... You know, Juju just does what Juju does. <laughs> I have not yet figured out how to like get the get the egg from stopping, you know, from just hitting the inside of the cheek. Ugh, and unfortunately, I cut missing the jiggy dance yeah. skip here. All right, Eric Sanks with a little bit of a lead, opening up yep. the TTC puzzle, but it makes sense. His PB is quite a bit bigger than I cups. So, again, we're in one of those situations where, you know, 
something's gonna have to go down during the race. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I... It's always like, you know, when you... <laughs> when you cast a race and you know the person is gonna blind you at some point, like... You know, whenever you got, like, someone's screen up and you're like, Oh, Electric Fortune's going into Gobies. Put on your sunglasses, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember who it was that had the really bad Gobies and Freeze Easy. Uh, early on in the tournament. Who but was I, it? I don't I remember that, too. I don't remember. I would have to go back and watch, but I'm sure you'd be able to, like, tell immediately by their, like, you know file select <laughs> yeah like even if you look at Eric's sand it's like kind of a brownish gold color but you know if some people have their colors turn up it's like yellow and when mm -hmm. it's like mostly on screen it just it's like <laughs> like you're opening the arc kind of thing hey Briggs Duck has everything gray. What? He's got a gray scaled. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> or like a channel point reward that like makes everything gray. Yeah. Like <laughs> I a couple of years ago I remembered that it's always like, you know, whenever you have Hag doing a race, you always have to tell him, hey, make sure you turn off all your channel point stuff, because he's got a lot of things that like flip the screen around. Yeah. I think it was during the 2E 100% tournament or something like that where people, he didn't turn it off and people were like swapping his gameplay and his webcam. People were making his stream rainbow. They were negative, you know, negating the color. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was happening during my tournament as well. Yeah. And like, there there was other other funny stuff. Hey Mumbo, thanks for the GL. So sad it's not GL GL. Alright, sick uh, Jiggy pickup from Eric's. That's like one of my favorite strats in TTC. It's so simple and I mean it's, you know, pretty much solved at this point. But I really love mm -hmm. watching the, the old strat for the chest Jiggy. I mean, not that the Beak Bomb strat isn't cool to see too, but I don't know, it just doesn't hit the same. Yeah. I up with the good Blubber RNG too. That's always fun. Yeah. I think it's been a little while. I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were gonna say yeah a third time there. <laughs> 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 Eric said nice stairs. Nice stairs are good too. I feel like nice stairs are like pretty easy if you have the right camera setup coming out of the uh you know coming out of the chest and coming into the you know stairs mm -hmm. area. But yeah, yeah, I just have to have a good camera angle and, and yeah. yeah. I feel like getting that good camera angle is like you know, unless you like practice that section all the time, so like you have like the exact same movement every time, it like, you know. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't happen. Like, Icup's camera not good there, but he kind of made it work. It's getting out of the chest here. I think you only have to press, like, C right, like, three times or something like that, or twice, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know very little about this game's setups, because I haven't done them in, like, a couple years now. And I've been running Xbox recently, and that's a lot easier on there with the oh, really? uh, camera controls. Yeah. Oh, d on Xbox, do you, is it the rotating camera controls? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's nice. It's a lot easier to line up stuff yeah. like that, so. I know a lot of people don't like rotating camera, but that's one of the things that I do like about TUI. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think TUI's camera is pretty slow, though, compared to, like... Yeah, it, it really is. Mm 
I kind of like BK Scammer more. Yeah. Just because it's a little bit faster. Like, even on the Xbox version, it's just really slow. I didn't, like, update it at all. Yeah. But I guess, no matter what the camera does, it's like, once you, like, get used to a certain thing, like, it's it's just, you know, you don't even have to think about it anymore. Yeah. That's why it's, like, swapping between the two games. That's, like, where the pain comes in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I swap in between N64 and Xbox a lot, and that's kind of painful with the... I mean, the camera controls are pretty easy to get used to, because I think kind of the muscle memory comes from, like, the controller itself, and not, like, I don't know, like, the joystick or things like that. Yeah. I feel like that, the grip of it, like, really helps transfer over, like, skills. Ooh, that was a sweet uh, talent trot into the loading zone for my cup. If you want a 2E camera but fast, it's basically what Mario Sunshine does, but without the ability <laughs> to center the camera. <laughs> I haven't played Sunshine in a long time. I don't remember what the camera in that game does. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I stopped playing Sunshine after like the second world. I, I don't really like that game, to be honest. <laughs> oh, the ginger jumped! Oh my god. But he got the honeycomb in flight, so it made up for it, kind of. I like Sunshine, but I think I like the idea of Sunshine more than I actually like Sunshine. Yeah, oh no, Eric's is running all the way back. Oh, he's running to the tree. I didn't even think of running to the tree. I thought he was going to go back to the boxes. Mm -hmm. I think running to the tree is probably better than running to the slope. Maybe. Maybe not. Because the slope is like you can get up right away. Oh my god, the crab. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I cut missed the eggs. Okay, there we go. But yeah, like I said, Sunshine is like, I like... Uh-oh. Eric's is missing a note. Is he? Uh-oh. Yeah, he should have... Did he miss a note up top? Like, on top of the X oh, platform? No. Yeah, he must have, because he's down one note right now. And Does he, he have... No, uh, he knows. He knows. Okay. Yeah, he probably saw his note count. 91 is pretty standard for the chest. There it is. Alright, off he goes. Disaster uh... averted. Oh, wow, both of them landed on the alcove, Jiggy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the note jumped. <laughs> the ginger jump, the note jumped. Hilarious. It sucks that we can't get the sandcastle jiggy through the, the fence or whatever. I know. There's no skew or anything you can do. Yeah, you can get the... Uh, RBB uh, bedroom jiggy with a skew, so. Yeah. That's always, like, fun to see, but I used to do that all the time, too, because, like, I had this bad muscle memory when I was, like, learning RBB, where I, uh, you know, when you gold feather through the door, and then you immediately jump for the jiggy, because you're like, oh, jiggy. But then mm -hmm. the chompa just kills you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does I cup have enough notes? Yeah, yeah. I cup's got all his notes. Okay. Anyway, to finally finish my thought once and for all, <laughs> Mario Sunshine is one of those games where like I like to play it until I'm playing it, and then I slowly <laughs> like lose interest. It's like, oh man, I haven't played that game in such a long time. It's nostalgic. I used to play it all the time when I was like you know, in high school kind of thing, and then it's like, I just like go to play it, and then I'm like, man, I kind of don't want to play this anymore. Oh, I come, no! Oh no, the crab had such an unfortunate bounce. 
I mean, normally, if people, like, do the recoil wrong, they can, like... Normally, if people do the recoil wrong, they can kind of save it and quickly jump before the crab gets them, but he was kind of stuck in the middle. There was, like, no way to get around that. <laughs> the crab jumped! <laughs> <laughs> Good jump up on the pipe from Eric's. Yep. I wish getting the, the sandcastle jiggy was faster as like the B. That'd be kind of cool because you can get it pretty fast to go in here and grab it and leave. But is it just like know. getting into the sandcastle that makes it slow? Uh, I mean it's not. Because you have to, yeah, like, hard to get in there. enter from, like, out of bounds, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's... I don't know. I think it's because of the notes in the water. You can't really get them as the B. And I think kind of... You have to probably do something else in TDC to make up for it. Like, coming back. Yeah. And there's not really much to do since you already have flight in, you know, in here, so... Oh, my cup! <laughs> Okay, okay, oh, he did it. Go. He did it. Thank God. <laughs> I am shocked that he tried to go for it again, but at least he did it. He's out of there. Yeah, like it not a great place for iCup to be in considering the uh the time lead, but again, like uh Banal said, anything can happen. Yep. Alright, everyone's favorite part of Clankers swimming underneath at the bottom of mm -hmm. the anvil. Waiting for the bubble. I feel like that was a weird cycle to do below the water. I didn't see everything he did, but how many things can go wrong in Clankers? I mean, if you want an exhaustive list, I could like take a deep <laughs> breath and get it started, but <laughs> the one level I wish you could do as the B and in, in Hundo was. Is clankers. It's just so fast, but yeah. yeah, you can get all the notes, but you can't get all the jiggies. Then I think you can get all the honeycombs. Yeah, so it's almost possible, but yeah, I think like the only thing that's like 100% not possible as the bee is probably mutant snippets, if I remember correctly. I think everything e else is is doable. Everything else is doable, but it's just not like. Maybe it's not faster, kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. Me? It's it's pretty pretty fast to to go around clankers as the B, and because you can go out of bounds and get oh, the yeah, like, yeah. jiggies and stuff. Like you don't even you don't have to worry about the cycles. Actually, well, you need to worry about the oh, and the witch switch. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, that too. I mean, being able to do like the entire level as like an entire level as just the B just sounds pretty lit though. I mean, I think uh, Jiggies of Time, which is a raw yeah, pack, yeah. has a lot of going around as the B doing entire levels. Because yeah. all the Jiggies are just already spawned in, so it's just all about going out of bounds, getting the Jiggies, getting the notes, and leaving. Yeah. I still haven't like played Jiggies of Time. I the, the only and I've only ever like watched like Hag grind Jiggies of Time when he used to do that like back before even the full game came out I think I think oh, that was when it was just like being released in pieces and people would like just speed run the pieces. Mhm. Mm yeah, I, I, I was kind of a lot of Kakariko Village. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of interested a couple weeks ago in, in doing some Jiggies of Time speed runs, but. I mean, I'm still interested, but I feel like with how the categories are right now, like, you either got a really long category, and you have a really, really short category. Like, 80% is like six minutes, and then like... <laughs> 80% six minutes, really? Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, Kirko had like a freaking warp to the final boss and in Hyrule Field, so oh. <laughs> you could just like <laughs> you just, just go, go right there, to the final yeah. boss. Yeah. You, I think what you used to do is go there as the B, and then that was that was like a 15 minute speed run because you could do DDA in that game. So. Oh okay. Yeah. And like the DDA, you can just like go straight to like the B, like the uh, level with the B or the broom or. You know, yeah. So. And, uh, yeah, just fly up to the hidden warp and go to the final boss and <laughs> do some setup. It's kind of funny. But, but apparently he actually hit a flight pad in Hyrule Field out of bounds you can just go to in, like, pretty much the first, like, two minutes of the speed run. So, yeah. Pretty do you still have to, like, learn flight or...? No, so yeah, you're on the DDA file, so Oh that that's so right, that's right. You get all the you get all the moves, you get I think max everything, and you get twenty five mumbo tokens. So Yep. Yeah. It's a pretty pretty, pretty fast speed run. <laughs> mm hmm And then you said the other category was like really long? Yeah, like uh, I think a hundred percent is like three hours long. It's pretty rough. I mean that's not very very long, but yeah, but it's there's no like playground. <laughs> yeah, and two he has that problem a little bit. Yeah, where it's like any percent's like twenty something minutes, and then a hundred percent's like even no DCW is like almost three hours. Isn't there like a seventy jiggy category? I don't think that's like official anymore. Yeah, but it? like no one really runs it. Yeah. And there's like all honeycombs, but that doesn't beat the game. Yeah. All honeycombs is like kind of fun for like the first, you know, couple worlds, but then the end is just run to level, grab honeycomb, leave. Once you mm -hmm. don't need jiggies anymore, the rest of the run is like pretty fast. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know, I think... Both of them so close on bolt Ooh. jump. Yeah. But yeah, that puzzle storage stuff on Xbox could, you know, make an interesting middle category if, you know, if it was allowed in, like, no DCW or something. Yeah. I just don't follow that much, like, 2 e Xbox stuff because I don't own it. Oh my <laughs> god, I can't believe Icup didn't fall off there. Ooh. He must have, like, just barely, like, touched the thing in order to flutter across. Yikes. I forgot what I was even saying. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. I said, I said I don't really follow it that much because I don't own Tui e Xbox and I don't own like, mm -hmm. you know, any Xbox that I can like play it on. I mean, I guess I have a 360, but I don't yeah, even know if on. you can buy it on like the X or Microsoft Store or whatever. Yeah, I think it's still open. I think you. I don't know. I feel like Xbox One is better though. Yeah. But... You know, I just I play on 360 for the 4x3, so yeah. I just would I just rather also avoid games where it's like you know you need to play on the most optimal version for it to be fastest. Just you know mm -hmm. by optimal I mean optimized version. It's like when I played Sonic Adventure 2, I played on the GameCube version because I just owned it. But I mean most people speed ran it on the PC version just because it was faster. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think honestly. I don't know if this would be the case, but I wonder if, like, actually the Xbox version of BK ever got released on PC, if more people would run Xbox. Oh, for sure. Because it's so yeah. easy to just hook a controller up to your computer and be on your way, right? Mm-hmm. But then again, there's also emulator and stuff. Yeah. Which... But, you know, Xenia isn't allowed, unfortunately. It'd be cool if it was allowed in the future. Probably when it gets better at emulating 360 stuff, so. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't even, like, I don't think you can even do, like, pause overlap glitch on Xenia, because there's just no, like, Xbox menu. Yeah. So. Emulator have doesn't have old. alien N64 controllers. <laughs> Yeah. Is that like the neon controllers? Or do you mean like actual alien? <laughs> uh, I feel like, I mean, 
somebody, I feel like somebody's out there that's gonna make like a N64 emulator that's completely accurate to like N64 and then oh, people yeah. might start running on there eventually, you know. That's why I kind of feel like what's gonna happen with this game after a while. People are just gonna kind of get tired of playing on an actual N64 and kind of want something more, um... Modern? Not modern. Yeah, modern. Yeah. I mean, even if you look at, like... I mean, retro gaming is, like, slowly becoming a thing that, like, only certain people do anymore. Just because, mm -hmm. you know, it's harder to get kind of stuff. So, I mean, over time, it'll just be, like, collectors and people who still have the nostalgia will own it. But I'm sure most people who, like, come into the speedrunning community are, like, you know, if they're playing, they're probably playing on more modern consoles. Because I'm sure even now there's, like, you know... 20 year olds that have like never owned an N64 mm -hmm. looking to get into speedrunning and they're like oh yeah we have an Xbox to play the Call of Duties <laughs> oh I come he's oh he didn't hide I thought he was gonna go under yeah that's true too Batatsu but I mean in the end oh we got a freeze easy peek early here Oh. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the last big, big bomb. Yeah, definitely don't do it at Very that nice. angle. Yep. Taking the safe strat. Yep. That's nice. Yeah. Even then, you can still like use an emulator to practice and stuff. But I mean, practicing on emulator just doesn't feel the same as practicing on console for BK. Oh yeah, definitely. It's, I, I, I tried, tried that when I started off, and it just it didn't translate at all when I started going to console. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I used uh, an N60, I think it was Script Talk, to practice Xbox stuff. Because, like, you can't actually practice anything on Xbox. Yeah. Without, like, making, like, a file for it or something. Yeah, go, go. Yeah, I, I still... Transfer. Yeah. Yeah, go, go. I still use this swim myself as well. Because if you, like, miss the honeycomb at the end, then you're just like, ah, I'm doomed. Jiggy first club. Hater's gonna hate. Then you need an N64 USB controller for a computer. I mean, those exist. Yeah, I have a I lot of, I have a lot of controller converters. Like... I don't think... I think I have them on my uh, little thing over here, but I have like a Wii U to GameCube, or a Wii U to uh, N64 converter. I have an N64 to PC. I have a GameCube to N64 converter. I got the, the one converter where you can plug in a controller for like PlayStation 2 or Xbox or N64 and it just like works. I haven't seen this room in a while. <laughs> the BGS <laughs> puzzle room. I see it every time I do a run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the sad boys club where I don't play enough to like learn RBA. Oh yeah, RBA is I would say it's not that difficult. I think after practicing it for like a day or two, you'd probably get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I tried it once, but I was just, like, losing time. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do RRBA. He's definitely, definitely hard. It's like a whole new, like, control scheme. And you have to practice how that control, control scheme works, and it's not very good, so... <laughs> they did is, not program to be, like... Is Eric going to really do bad. the old route? Uh... No, I think he's doing current. He just didn't do the new yellow star. But by old route, like, I'm not sure what you mean by old route. Why did he open swamp? Uh, I cup open swamp. I cup is doing uh, no RBA. 
Mm -hmm. So Icup's not doing any B shenanigans. He's going straight from Click Clock to Furnace Fun. So yeah, I Icup's going to be doing Bubble Gloop right now. Yes. I say it kind of like so. So going. <laughs> so going all the way back to your original thing. Yes, Icup is doing the old route. <laughs> What'd you say, TSR? Uh, saying that like I, I, I like when CCW is the last level. Yeah, me too. I feel like it's kind of like a, it's not that hard of a level, but like I, you just get so nervous, and then when you're done with it and you finish it, it just, it just feels really good. Yeah, you're just in the lobby and you're like, ah, uh, nice and done. Mm-hmm. Go right to FF and then get a picture question and then cry yourself to sleep. So. <laughs> <laughs> or a grunny question. Although I think most people who have gotten grunting questions on the death square in this tournament have actually gotten the questions wrong, so... Yeah. I mean, there might have been a couple people who got them right, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Click Luckwood is not hard, but every mistake loses 40 seconds. Yeah. I mean, Softlock's pretty hard. Ooh, Icup's gotta watch his health. Yeah, I don't I don't do soft walk in my run, so I don't either. I don't I learned how to do it, but then I never practiced it, and I was like, you know what, I should not do soft walk. If I took like twenty minutes to learn it, I'd probably probably get it, but I don't know. I just don't feel like doing it because if I don't know. I just don't like a big hard like glitch at the end of CCW. Yeah, I feel like I could probably YOLO softlock if I, like, could remember which way the camera pointed when, like, it changed. Yeah. Because when in doubt, you can always do, like, the beak barge, like, back up. Mm -hmm. Just kind of run in the direction of Bumbo's skull and then make sure you're, like, wedged in the corner. But, I mean, that's slow, so why would you ever do that? <laughs> Alright, good note pickup from Eric's. Definitely not like a frame away from losing the race like we saw the other day. <laughs> yeah. You were told that doing soft lock was not hard. I haven't tried it, I don't have an EverDrive. Yeah, I don't know, I just feel like I would if I did it in a run, I just get so nervous at it and mess up. <laughs> yeah. Softlock isn't hard until you mess it up once. Mm -hmm. Like I would feel like I would like do do even the backup strategies wrong and then just like fail the run there. Ooh, Icup didn't even try to go for the overlap. I guess he's like, nope, I'm here. We're gonna just ground pound it and be on my yeah, way. Yeah, there's forgot there's an overlap there. And that's cool. <laughs> Slip sliding on the <laughs> the hut. And he's not fooling around. He... I'm going right over to Crocus. Oh, I thought he was going to jump. Yeah, yeah I, kept, been... I kept not playing around. Oh, we went for the last hut jump. <laughs> 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 it's kind of funny. I guess the last one is pretty easy, though, so... Mm-hmm. I wish, honestly, you could find a way to like skip Vile or the or the choir. Yeah, I mean, like, that's that would what be so wants. nice. Nobody wants to do Vile, yeah. except all the people that like wrote songs to play during the Vile. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they would vote to keep it in. Mm -hmm. Or just find a way to go in there. I mean, you, you'll go in there just to get the notes, probably if there ever was a skip. So, but you know. I think that's kind of the problem, is that if there was a skip, like, you still have to transform into the crocodile. Yeah, yeah. And go oh, in you, there. You did the hard jump, cat. I don't think I've ever gotten the hard jump. Then again, I know that I've only ever, like, maybe tried to go for it, like, a handful of times. Like, how hard is this really? And then you, like, fail it twice, and... Oh. Okay. 
<laughs> Never mind. I feel like if you know how to get the hard jump, though, you'll never, like, fail the other huts ever again. Yeah. Because it's like the... The the fundamentals are down, for sure. <laughs> oh, tank tap was being done. I forgot to load up the tank tap soundboard sound. <laughs> you still don't like the last one? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Love it. Do you have to spin the camera awkwardly? The Croctus thing Eric's did? You mean I cup? <laughs> Five forty three AM, yikes. I'm sorry to hear that. That's what time I gotta be up for work tomorrow morning. Oh uh, yikes. Well, not be up, but like leave the house. <laughs> oh no. Yay, work said nobody ever. <laughs> I'm just really hoping that I get a good night's sleep tonight. Oh, I, <laughs> I kept wasn't paying attention to the turtles or something. Hello, Cass. Yeah, I kept had to re-get the turtle code. Maybe he wrote something down wrong. Or maybe he's not writing stuff down at all and he, like, second-guessed himself. Mm -hmm. Kind of wish more came out of the skip tub glitch. I don't know, I feel like there could maybe be a setup soon. Because that'd be really sick. Yeah. Just having to only hit one turtle, and it's you're done with that round. Ooh, Eric's got the jump down. No gold feathers for him, though. I mean, yeah, Gogo, -Go, I enjoy what I do, but I wouldn't rather be doing it than something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but decomp's been, like, pending for, like, years now, right? Yeah, a couple months. I think Mittens has kind of uh, taken a break from it for a little bit. Oh, is it Mittens that's doing it? I think so, yeah. Okay. I mean, anybody can contribute if you know some uh, how to decomp something, then it's a public project, so. I have no idea what that even <laughs> entails. Me neither, so go. <laughs> yeah. Go and do it. Anybody yeah, good, good luck with that decomp, yep. <laughs> I heard, like, most of it is just, like, AI stuff. Like, just converting shit and then writing it. So... It's not the, the hardest thing, yeah. but like I think what's left now is like all the stuff like the AI really couldn't do, so you have to like actually go through and write it all. I think there's only like 2% left, right? Something like that? Something like that. Yeah. Oh! oh. No! Ooh. Eric's! The moment yeah, he I hit worked. B, I was like, oh, there's no way that's gonna go inside the door. At least he didn't land. Oh man, he's gotta slide so far down this slope. So oh yeah, he's speeding it up a little. Oh no, I landed. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I just I do this stupid strat and just waste a ton of feathers. Yeah. Oh, he's, well, he's gonna go to Gobies. Yeah. May as well. I mean, it's only like a second trip into this room, so it's not like it's that much of a time loss, but. 
I mean, like, RVA is only a couple, I don't know, like 30 seconds faster than just doing no RVA, which is going to Gobi's after. No, wait, is it? Is Gobi's after FP? No. I think uh, you go to. In which route? Eric's? In no, R in no RBA, you, you open Gobi's and then you. Do you Gobies open a Gobi's and then you go straight to Gobi's. Yeah. You don't, I think you do FP like after. Yeah, FP is last. Mansion, right? Yeah. It's actually pretty interesting. Yeah. And I mean, I think you. I think in our RBA, you do FP first. Mm. But. I don't. <laughs> I still do yeah. the Gobi's MMM FP route just because it's like way easier on tokens. Yeah. And I'm just like too babby to learn the, uh, you know, MMM lobby, uh, or you know, the Grunny's Lair beak bombs to do FP early and 450 skip. Oh yeah, the stupid cloud. I tried that. It was so bad. <laughs> BK right. on the. Oh yikes! He has to. Yeah. Go up and. Almost and got it. it the first time, but he zipped in the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me it's like yeah, the decomp information is like cool I guess but for me it's I know I would just be looking at it being like I don't understand this <laughs> can someone smart just give me an abridged version of what's possible I mean I, I think I, how I don't, things work I don't really do any coding or anything but some of it's uh, labeled so you can kind of like get the idea of like how certain things work but um, like values like how fast he goes in like units or like how certain cutscene orders work in the code or whatever but yeah um yeah a lot of it isn't labeled so a, a lot of it's just like function like 7301 and like you just don't even know what that means unless like you can figure out you know yeah you like you know, take it in context mm -hmm. oh my god i cup no i cup Ooh. he lost file oh. round two is that a death? That's a death, unless he can make it out of the room. Oh no, he didn't jump! Go, Icup, go! Oh no, no, he died! Rip. Oh no! That's a tragedy, unfortunate. Dude, he got stuck on the... He got stuck on the ledge, and then he got <laughs> stuck on the wall. Oh, yeah. that's so rough. Exactly why I go... Into vile of 2 HP right there. Uh, I'd say in races go into vile 2 HP. I think that's the play. <laughs> yeah, that's usually what I do too. Yeah. Alright, well, back to vile and then we do the rest of the level. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, that's right. He does do 2 HP to you per bite. I always went oh, into 3. Yeah, he does. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't even know that. That's crazy. Why does he do 2 HP? I don't know. It's just one of the things in the game that does 2 HP. It'd be funny in, like, 1.1, he actually does 1 damage instead of 2 or something. And that's <laughs> why I just always thought it was 1. Well, I mean, yeah, what I was I... it, like, a couple years ago when someone died on one of the uh, mummy hands and gobies? Because they didn't... It, like tap them for three damage or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was like, what? Yeah, I think that's used in runs now, right? To, like, deplete your HP a little bit. Oh, did Eric's miss a note again? He'll probably uh, grab it after the pyramid game, because you're on a timer to get mm -hmm. in the door. I forgot, do you die if you don't complete the pyramid, or the, not, the matching puzzle game? No. I thought you did, I don't know why. Like, what happens? You just go back to the beginning of the level, or...? It just, it like, fails you, I think. I'm pretty sure you don't die, though. Oh, it's a void out? It's a void out? Oh, oh I thought it just ended and you were, like, forced to leave. I didn't know it actually voided you out. 
Because I know the... Um, the maze actually kills you, I think. Yeah, the the maze definitely kills you. Sandy Butt inflicts his, like, Pharaoh's curse or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is another thing that insta-kills you in, in BK other than Engine Room. <laughs> but it's... Typically don't die in there, you have yeah. way too much time. Well, I mean, Engine Room is like a void, right? Well, it's not yeah, really it's, a void, but it's like a... It's like a lava know. pit. Yeah. But it's not... It's, it's kind of the same thing as a A death pit. plane. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it does show the spike ceiling, that's true. Mm -hmm. Which is actually pretty cool. I don't think anything else in the game like forces you to go into first person to look up. That's pretty unique. I was trying to see if I could, like, do anything with that, but nothing. I don't even know if, if you, like, see up during the maze, I don't even know if, like, the spikes are already there. I think they are. Like, like, if you see up in the maze, like, does anyone know? Because I've been in there with the bee, and, like... You can go up, like, close to the spikes, but there's, like, an invisible ceiling. So oh, you can't, okay. like, get to them. They must be, like, I don't know. It's kind of weird in there. <laughs> Is there a specific version of the 360? I didn't even know there was more than one version of the 360. <laughs> The 361. Uh, I, I think there's different versions of the 360, like for BK and BT, but. Yeah. I mean, cons considering the length of the 360's life, there had to have been more than one hardware. Digital is faster. Yeah, I mean, cause, probably because it's not reading a disc, but there was no, there, like, disc for. There is no disc. <laughs> there is no disc for <laughs> Banjo on yeah. 360. Even on for Rare Replay, I think it just downloads it from the Microsoft Store. Well, yeah, Xbox 360 and Xbox One, but I thought you were talking about, like, versions of the 360. There's a Rare Replay disc, but it's for Xbox yeah. One. And I don't even, I think that, yeah, that just downloads the freaking game. Like, I don't even think it's on the disc. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I think every Xbox game just downloads it onto your, like, system's hard drive, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Because you can, like, you can, pretty much Rare Replay is just a launcher for, like, yeah. to go to the games. Yeah, or I think I games. think you have the choice, right? Because I remember when I played through Nuts and Bolts, I was having a hard time with, like, loading and, like, lag and stuff like that, and Mad Taz was like, well, did you download it? And I was like, what do you mean download it? It's a disc. And he's like, yeah, you can like manually download the game onto your system so that way it doesn't have to like read it from the disc. And I was like, huh. And then I like started playing it. I downloaded it and then I started playing it from there. And it was, well, for, for, for one, it made my console noticeably quieter <laughs> because oh, wow. it wasn't like whirring and all that. But yeah. Stuff like that's really interesting and really odd. But yeah. I guess to answer Default's question, uh, I think the best version for BT and BK on, three, or on Xbox is probably like Xbox One or Xbox Series X. Pretty sure like some glitches don't work on 360 like apparently the the choir room is laggy on 360 which i don't know <laughs> really? that makes sense that's kind of yeah weird. i don't i don't know why <laughs> it's just a, a thing but um i mean i've never noticed it so i don't know it's, i don't know if it's actually true or not it might have just been like some weird glitch but i don't know because I play both Xbox One and 360, so... For nuts and bolts, loads are way faster on Xbox One X. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It'd probably even be... I think, honestly, BK and BT would probably load faster on Series X as well. Because it's got an SSD, so... Yeah, I mean, it's 
basically a PC. <laughs> yeah. All right, the note journey c continues for iCup <laughs> now that he's out of the yeah. maze. Oh, and the gingers. Like, I'm pretty sure if he was playing on Xbox, the only thing you'd need to do is do Vile again, get the notes in the back, and uh, then leave. Yeah. You lose Play 45 up. minutes on loads? Yikes. That's one of those That's situations great. where it would be like, you know, running a category with and without loads on a leaderboard. Yeah. The timer yeah. just pauses when you're. You know, not playing. That's kind of hard to do, though, on on console. You could do that a lot. Uh, yeah, on PC. Yeah. For sure. On PC, you could like make a mod for it, which I think like what Minecraft or like Portal does or something. Which is kind of interesting. <laughs> you don't have to like manually do it. I think Icub almost forgot that he had to go back into Tank Top. <laughs> he got he got the one note, jumped away, got the other note, then jumped all the way back to the first foot. Oh, you compare by in-game time? I guess in-game time doesn't tick w during loads then, yeah. I mean, if BK ever... I, I think Does BT have in-game time? I forgot. It does, it but it, like, doesn't really matter just because the game is, like, so laggy. <laughs> yeah. And the laggy stretches the in-game time. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, the laggier your game is, the faster your IGT will be, kind of thing. Mm hmm. I thought it slows down. That's interesting. Well, that's what I meant. It slows down the timer. Oh, I right. guess, the, the in game timer. So the laggier your game is, the faster your in game time will be. But then the oh, slower your RTA is. Mm -hmm. So nobody really takes in-game time seriously in TUI. And like when PG used to show off his like PBs and stuff like that. Haha, <laughs> Icup's going back for the boots. Had to sit there for a second and think. Feels waiting, man. Wait, where's he going? Oh, he's just getting health? Mm -hmm. I kept you could have got the boots! <laughs> That's a bra moment right there. I think he probably just wasn't thinking about that. Or maybe he's like plans on death warping from there after he's done. Or maybe he just doesn't know there's boots over there. No, he's going. He's got it. He, they're right there, yeah. I don't know what the play is Whoa. here, but we'll see. He's not getting the boots at all. <laughs> he just wanted the help. Mm -hmm. I guess he's just going to run to the exit, because the only notes he needs now are like the ones on the way out, right? Oh, I think. Is there eight there? I, yeah, because there's three on the oh, yeah, log three and then and five. five on the other log. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then he'll get the Jinjo here. Get the notes before you jump to the Jinjo, though. Yeah. Just so in case. He accidentally fell to 99 notes. <laughs> yeah. It would. I'm sure he would have probably just rage quit right on the spot. I wouldn't blame Getting him. In the yellow Jinjo last. Yeah. And now he'll just. I think that's the yellow Jinjo. Oh, he missed the token. <laughs> I think he was planning on like falling onto the uh -oh. token there. I almost think doing the death warp was slower than just running out. But I guess it gives you the health refill, so. Yeah. Could always talk to Brentilda though. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 that's true, she is right there. So people forget about that that she refills her health. I wish she was used in the speedrun, but Oh, Dick Chin yeah. strikes again. So you gotta say when people <laughs> slip off the chin. 
Oh, interesting, dude. I only, I think you only really see this in no RBA or now it's called any percent restricted. Any percent no RBA. Yeah. I, mean, I think I think it got changed to restricted because uh, I think what I think Pog got banned. Yeah. So. Oh okay. Too many glitches in there that are banned, so might as well just change the name to restricted. Not like any any percent, no RBA, no no, no pog, bit clips, no, no, yeah. no pog. <laughs> yeah. I think any percent restricted is a pretty good name. Yeah. All right, sick MMM on time from Eric's. And Icup's gonna be doing his gobies now. Hopefully his gobies goes better than his bubble gloop, for sure. Although, I have to say, there's nothing more triggering than, I think, having a bad bubble gloop. And by bad, yeah. I mean having to, like, do it twice. I I'm just, I'm trying to think of another level I would rather, like, do a second time. Or rather not do a second time other than bubble gloop, but I think bubble gloop wins. I guess click clock. Oh my god, Eric got sniped by the bat. Oh. <laughs> Fell right off the roof. No. Gotta love the bats in this level. Gotta love them. Any percent warpless. No warp pads, no silos, no train, no death warps. I mean, that just sounds terrible. <laughs> I tried doing. trying running a category called. Uh, Magicless, where you don't like enter like the rules you can't enter mumbo or humble Umbo's huts and and like you can barely get like 72 jiggies or something so it's kind of cool yeah i was love to say so any percent but that uh yeah but it's gets the detonator i think you have to mm-hmm Cause like you can't do uh, DCW, right? So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's basically off the table. Yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting because like you can just entirely avoid them, it, like by just doing a few glitches along the way, and then they show up to the the party at the end. Like what the fuck, like. <laughs> I always thought that was funny, like, I did the entire game without talking to you guys, and you guys are out at the party, like, come on. I feel like that would be, like, a good, like, YouTube video challenge. What, just magicless? Yeah. I don't know, I still want to get Save the Jinjos yeah, off, off, the, off the ground. Save the Jinjos? Yeah, so Save the Jinjos is you gotta save all 45 Jinjos. And then you gotta save King Jingling <laughs> and restore him back to health. But in order to restore King Jingling back to health, you need to uh, beat Tower of Tragedy. I guess you could just warp to the uh, warp to the credits because I think that still plays the cutscene. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if like, cause yeah, he does get like resurrected during the cutscene, so. I guess you just save all 45 Jinjos and then DCW to Hagwon, or DCW to credits. Mm. It's like save all Jinjos and kill all the Ninjos. Yeah, but you'd probably do That'd Tower of Tragedy cool. anyway because, you know, mm. otherwise you'd have to collect a lot of uh, Jiggies in order to get the Jinjos in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Exactly, go go. Ooh, I cup gets the uh gets the lucky uh ancient one. Mm-hmm. Feels good to get that one.
one terabyte of comparing all Xbox versions. Cat be do be do a maniac. <laughs> I don't know that emote. I'm stuck on the classic cat be doing the laundry. <laughs> yeah, I found like a bundle for I think a 360 that was like like 40 bucks. <laughs> Yeah. For like a controller, a console. Then you just have to buy BK for like 15 bucks. Not that bad. Yeah, Xboxes are pretty cheap. I remember I bought a Wii a bunch of years ago, and uh. Wii is like. It was like 70 bucks or something. Mm hmm. Yeah, Xbox is a good version for for BK. I think the thing that like you know falls short is no text skipping, obviously. But you know, there's a lot more. I think honestly, the like ending of Xbox is a lot cooler than than N64. Like what they do with RBA and stuff. Now, yeah. you like go into Gobies, you go back into Mumbos, you go to Spiral Mountain. You know, this, like, really fun stuff. I mean, 2B Xbox has, like, the fun, like, trick that you can do at the end of the run in, like, Grunny Industries, but nobody does it because it's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, because 2E Xbox is based on PAL, right? So. Yeah. Except for Moose. I think he tried it. Yeah. I think. But I don't, I don't know if he ever like found a consistent-ish way to set it up. Mm -hmm. I would, I just, I would want to see like a run with that puzzle storage glitch, which is basically kind of two e FFM, where it just opens all the levels for you, kind of like that keto cheat code, but actually like in a glitchy manner. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I'm fairly uh blind on all the 2e glitch stuff that's been found oh yeah yeah there's uh apparently if you like sign out after completing a, a puzzle in the temple you can transfer it over to another file and it just like if you open i think the last level which is cauldron keep it just opens up all the other levels so you can just start with basically every level unlocked uh, okay. Which is kind of sick. Cat, what are you talking about? The uh, the stupid thing I was saying Moose was doing? It's a clockwork warp into toxic waste. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that's really hard. I even tried I tried doing that once, and it... Yeah, that's... What you have to do is, sh is shoot it in the, f in the air con plant. You have to shoot a clockwork close enough to the door have it like explode kind of facing you while you take damage from an enemy and you basically have to do it blind yeah that's tough yeah it's not very fun to watch either because <laughs> you're just watching it being like man this looks hard Alright, I kept having some troubles with the last ancient, or not last, but second last ancient one statue. Wait, I kept didn't grab these notes. Oh, oh he hasn't a water pyramid yet. Which oh. is... Oh, he's gonna do it right now. Though, I kept doesn't do water pyramid clip. Hmm. So Icup's doing like some hybrid route, I think. Yeah, I think this is just you beak bomb the rock and then, or no, you get the honeycomb and then beak bomb the rock and hope that you get in fight and then just. Oh, Icup, don't die! Oh, no, no Icup! It's over. It's over. It's 
over. Uh, oh no. Oh, uh, he's thinking. Okay, just go. Okay, no, he's go he's going. He's going. Oh, I cup. Yeah. So rough. This level is just brutal. Yeah, it really is. Gobi's Valley, where dreams go to die. Mm -hmm. There's just so much stuff that can kill you, and I mean, the honeycomb cactus is like... <laughs> I'm just wandering past the notes. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's so checked out. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, to be fair, like, I would be too. Mm hmm Oh. Oh. He's giving me the the old DM. Oh. Uh. Yeah, he was asking and I was like, yeah, you can forfeit if you're done, but it, it's up to you. Mm hmm I'm only asking because it's late. Yeah, it's like midnight for iCup. I'll, I'll pull him in. I'll pull him in. I cup, my lad. Yeah. <laughs> that was a. <laughs> that's uh, Kazooie for you. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah. rough way to go out after it happening in a uh, bubble gloop as well. Yeah, I mean, after bubble gloop, I'm like, okay, maybe if he has a death. I'll just play it out, but after that Gobi's death, I'm like, I'm, it's late. I don't want to play for another <laughs> yeah. hour. Just get pulled in. Yeah, it is. It is midnight for you after all, so I do understand. Yeah, it's full 13 a.m. I got up at 5 a.m. this morning, so yeah, I'm ready for bed. This race was. It was what it was. Well. Yeah. Well. Unfortunately, this is uh, your exit from the tournament. I hope you had fun with BK. Even though I know you've been, like, for the first bit of the tournament, you were grinding it out against me in the bingo tournament. And then after that, you were grinding it out for your pace run coming up. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. I The only reason I really joined this tournament, because I was so rusty at BK, was just because everyone else was. Yeah. But I mean, while I was here, I had fun. It was fun coming back to this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although it was kind of tilting this time, but I mean, <laughs> with two with two deaths, how late it was, I, I think I should just call it instead of just playing it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one one the result. One question before you leave: What was that pause you did in a uh, termite hill? Did you accidentally like reset your controller or something? Yeah, something happened. He started running to the left all by himself when my stick was neutral, so I had to reset my controller, like, unplug it, plug it back in. Okay, because, yeah, we were like, I, I was like, the only thing that could have happened was, like, resetting your controller, but I was like, how does that even happen in Termite Hill? Because you would have had to hit start in order to do that, and it was like, when did you ever have the chance to do that, so... And then the turtle choir, I had my global hotkeys on for live splits, so I almost reset my splits. That's why I had to listen oh, to the third one twice. Yeah, okay. I okay, I, I thought maybe you, like, weren't writing it down and you were, like, trying to memorize it. And then you just, like, I don't know, lost your train of thought or something like that. But that makes sense. Damn. That All was right. fun. Yeah, well, GG's. GG's. Yeah. GG's. You're free to stick around and uh, co-commentate for as long as we've uh, you feel like staying up. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna stay up for this race. I'll commentate Eric's run. All right. Cool. Let's uh, swap over to Eric's audio then here. Let's stop streaming now. Yep, that's fine. I've got a big chungus that can, uh... <laughs> there we go. Let's just oh, move yeah. him down a little bit. Don't worry, Chad, it's not dark chungus. You don't have to... You don't have to fear. He be watching, though. Let's move it down. Let's move it down into the corner. There we go. I'll be a bee. Alright. 
What happened? Gobi, I, I kept died in Gobies. He died in Bubble Gloop, like at the end of Bubble Gloop, to Vile, and then died to Gobies about like two thirds through the level, so. There was, uh. There was no recovering. And so now we got Eric's finishing up. Only mm -hmm. got three levels to go, so. Yeah, he did his best. Be sure to follow iCup. He's going to be doing Banjo Tooie 100% for pace when it comes up. Pace is like two or three weeks. Wait. I actually don't know when it is, but it's, <laughs> it's soon. Yeah, interesting event. Go watch. Yeah, it's kind of like GDQ Lite. Yeah. It'd be cool if they did, like... I guess they have GDQ hotfix, but, like... Yeah. It'd be cool if there, there was, like, mini GDQs in, like, different um, states. Yeah. I mean, GDQ hotfix, like they, they have a lot of shows on the GDQ hotfix. I actually oh. did a two-way oh, yeah. run for the GDQ hotfix, like, about a month ago or something like that. One of the hosts for one of the shows that happens bi-weekly uh, reached out to me and said, Hey, you want to do a show for Time Capsule? And I was like, great, what's that? Because <laughs> I, I always thought that the GDQ hotfix was like one thing. Like it was just the mm -hmm. hotfix, but the hotfix is just what they... It's just what their channel does when GDQ isn't happening. Yeah, yeah but like, Tatsu, think... he surrendered. Yeah. Yeah, I think they have like... Yeah, they have different shows and stuff. I think they're even like looking for more shows too. Like they're yeah, doing signups for it. I mean, everything's all pretty professional. I had to like mm -hmm. go in there and make sure my stream layout was good, and then I had to like you know do a pre-show thing with a tech, just so like just in case there was any problems setting up my stuff. And they have all their own OBS settings that they send you, and everything's really hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I think I signed up for like the time capsule thing for uh for Xbox BK. But that apparently I think they're still on like two thousand or something, so <laughs> that's gonna be a while until two thousand eight. Oh. If they even do pick me. I mean I think they just do things out of order because for me uh, it was like, you know, bit two -y, right? So it was two thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think Asmi did one for BK. I think he did, like, BK 80% for, like, 1998 segment. Oh, okay. Yeah. He did a cool route, though. He did, like, uh, Clanker as the B on, on, on N64. Oh, yeah. Which I only, That's cool. only see on Xbox, so. I think BGS early as well. And, and, yeah, pretty cool. Cool route he did. Swimming oh. all the way to the wall is something that just like unnecessarily freaks me out. I thought he was gonna drown. He I drown. mean, he he had so much air, so I knew he wasn't gonna drown. But it's still just like seeing him underwater for that long was just like, ugh. Oh. It's like, ugh, why you gotta be underwater? It's oily, don't you know? Yeah. The, the left will wash you off with dawn when you come out. RBB, I think it's it's a pretty tough stage, but it's a pretty clean stage. I would say, I like to do. Yeah. There's not any like. Is there any RNG really? Not really. I, I mean, boombox, jiggy, skip kind of thing. Mm, that's, I don't think that's it's, RNG. It's not really RNG, but... Yeah, it's just timing. basically RNG. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna get it? Oh, Ooh. bad RNG. Yeah, RNG. <laughs> <laughs> I like the setup where you, like, do a uh, peck 
onto the boombox and you just get the jiggy. So you don't have to like, um, get hit, I think. Because you get hit if you do the talent trot. Yeah. Jump into it. I if don't think I've ever run. seen a peck strat. Yeah, you kind of like do like a recoil. And it's really cool. I guess the only RNG is like where the sailor dudes are positioned in like the anchor room. Yeah, I think you can manipulate them though if you like go a certain way because they face the same uh, area. And then if they just see you, they'll, they'll kind of run at you, but um, they'll get distracted. Okay. That's kind of what I do in Xbox any percent, so. But yeah, so that's pretty consistent. Yeah, the, I mean, I think maybe Kitchen is probably the worst. When it I comes mean, to Kitchen's, RNG. yeah, Kitchen's the same. It's all the Sailor dudes, right? Yeah, and then they just... Yeah, but I mean, for the though. most part, you just avoid them because you just like step on the counters and Ooh. stuff like that. Eric's taking some damage. Yeah, he got bad RNG on the Chompa. <laughs> <laughs> got the bad RNG. Yeah, I don't know how people can uh, kind of jump around the Chompas. I, I don't do it. I just roll. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> and sometimes I still get hit when I roll, so. <laughs> You still get hit when you roll? You kill yeah, them when you, you roll. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes I time it incorrectly and I just, just get hit. It's kind of stupid. Alright, well that TNT box decided to detonate for no reason. Mm -hmm. yeah, I hate when it detonates, it just shakes the screen. Especially like kind of when you're far away from it, it still does it. Yeah, lag. I mean, that's what he was doing. He was he was so far away. It was just standing still, being all brown in a box and stuff. And then, like, you know, all of a sudden, just decided to start flashing white and just blow up without moving. Mhm. Mm I'm back, and I'm actually feeling pretty tired, so I'll probably a step. All right. All right. Thanks for having me. See you yep. next tournament. <laughs> yep. See you later, I Cup. See ya. I Cup has left the building. Yep. So who are you thinking is going to win this tournament? Uh, hard to say at this point. Like, yeah. Bemo's I'm, been I'm popping off. Probably Bemo. Well. Yeah. I mean, Trep's pretty up there, too. Mm hmm. I mean, in the end, when it comes to, like, tournaments, it, ooh, I like that backup strat jumping off the, uh, pipe. Yeah, that's sick. In the end, for tournament races, it's like, yeah, you got the best time, but it comes down to consistency. Like, if mm -hmm. people can consistently get, like, good sub-2 times, then it'll be that person. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, if it ends up being, like, Trev versus BMO in the, the grand finals, yeah. like, if BMO just, like, dies in a level, then Trev can really catch up. Yeah. Or I mean, if, when, like, when you get to, like... Level. When you get to that like upper top runner level, dying in levels is just basically just throwing. Yeah. Like there, there's no hope for recovery. Cause I mean, you can still expect your opponent to like make a bad mistake or like you know die somewhere, but it probably, probably isn't gonna happen. Mhm. Mm Does Eric's actually have to finish? Can he just get a free win? That's how I've been doing things. Yeah, I mean, he could, but... Because it's like... Know. If he doesn't finish, then it's like... Technically, like... He's not finishing the match, right? So it's a forfeit. Mm -hmm. And then both runners just forfeit. At least that's how I see it. Yeah. It ain't over until it's over. But I mean, since Icup's already dropped out, then I mean, Eric's could like die 80 times, and he'd could be, be done here for like four hours. Yeah, but he all he'd have to do is like finish the run to win. So it's like running a race without any opponents, right? You can you can kind of go whatever pace you want. That being said, I don't actually know if he knows that Icup has dropped out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Some people choose to not look at Discord during the race. Some people choose to not look at the stream during races just to keep their concentration going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I don't usually look at the stream, but I look at Discord. Yeah. I think if I was looking at the stream during my first race, I think I probably would have lost to Falcon. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because like I didn't know he was ahead of me the entire time. I didn't know what was going on at all, oh, what he yeah. was doing. So the fact that I, I still kept going, uh, I think that really helped me. Yeah, by, like, slow and looking at the steady stream. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I enjoy watching the stream during the race because seeing where my opponent at is that lets me know like how balls to the wall I need to go during races mm -hmm. like if I know that I'm ahead I can kind of relax a bit and I don't have to like go for like the crazy strats I can kind of you know sit back a little bit and then if I'm behind I really need to kind of gun it and then if I fail gunning it and I'm even further behind then it's like well you know I was behind already so Mm -hmm. But the only problem is most of the tournaments I join are like watching streams is like prohibited. <laughs> yeah. Just because it's important that you don't know what your opponent's doing. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, you know, I would love to watch the stream, but I can't kind of thing. Yeah. Nice death warp. Mm -hmm. Didn't get the golden feather though. <laughs> I feel like that would be strategically sound, but my brain cell is too occupied with the race. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would. I would get so nervous if I was just looking at the stream, knowing that they're just like a couple minutes ahead of me or something, yeah. and I would just like have a really bad mentality. I mean, like I'm. There's no way I'm going to win now. Like, I just feel like. Just playing the game, focusing on that is kind of where yeah. I should be. I don't know. I see that, but for me, it's like, you know, I'm more nervous when I don't know. Like, if I know, at least I know. But if I don't yeah. know, then it's like, you know, I could be, like, worrying myself for nothing kind of thing. Mm hmm I feel like just not watching the stream also gives me hope as well. Oh, what's the <laughs> camera doing? Uh, the, I hate that feeling, though. When you have hope and you're like, oh, man, everything's going so well. And then you get dragged into the call and you're just like, ah. Yeah, that's how I felt during the booter tournament. <laughs> like That first race against Conditioner. That was kind of rough because I was like, oh, I finally got into Deku Tree. But, oh, the race is over. <laughs> <laughs> like, great. Yeah. You get excited for Booter 3? Yeah. I'll, you gonna I'll join Booter, Booter 3? 3. Yeah. I'll do Doing Booter any rando 3. since Booter 2? Not really. <laughs> I, I'm kind of... I was... I don't know. I've been I've been really like doing the, the Booter settings though when I do play it, so... I don't usually play anything else. Yeah. Hello, Kawaii. I haven't even done like BK rando in a while. Just, uh, Giant Jigglypuff hasn't really updated it at all. Yeah. I mean, it's so. one of those things that, like, when everyone's playing it, it's great. And, you know, when there's a tournament, there's, like, a, you know, it's in the eye, right? So more people mm -hmm. want to do races. But then once it's all settled and done, then everyone kind of wants a break from it. And then just nobody goes back to it. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing with, like, you know, with 2E Bingo, it's the same. With, like, Memer Board stuff, it's the same. I mean, 2E mm -hmm. speedrunning in general, it's the same, like... <laughs> yeah. I'm more likely to see speed, to do speedruns myself if I see other people speedrunning because I'm, like, really competitive. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, any percent no DCW in Banjo-Tooie is, like... I don't know. I was going to say probably, like, the second least popular category... But, I mean, there's not a whole lot of 2E categories that are really popular. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. All of them are pretty dead most of the time. Kind of sad from that... like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. You just gotta find that like brand new glitch. You know, that 
those YouTubers will make a video about, and then you'll get some people interested. Yeah. Or like a new banjo game comes out, or you know, I mean, I bet a, quite a few people probably started running to it when banjo was announced for Smash. Oh, probably. I mean, yeah. ban banjo stuff like always makes like a bit of a surge. Like, whenever, mm -hmm. you know, it gets run at a GDQ or something like that. You know, when Stiv used to run it, when Duck and Hag did their race, when, you know, Duck did his race. Like, there's always a surge of people right afterwards that come in who are, like, interested in speedrunning. Yeah. And with Tui, it's, like, not really so much. But I think more people are nostalgic about this game because they played it, like, when they were kids and everything. And then Tui came out later, or and it was a bigger game. It didn't have the same charm because it was like a darker game and stuff like that so yeah I feel like it's kind of like RNG when it comes to like people's like favorite banjo game it's like if you got banjo Tooie first and that's your favorite or if you got BK first and that's your favorite like yeah kind of like that I mean I think most people like you know who lived in that time probably got BK first just because they N64 mm -hmm. and it came out like two years sooner right yeah. Ander Bimo, thank you for the raid. Raid raid. Welcome to the sort of race. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a race at one point. <laughs> but uh yeah, I cup did some dying. Is Cheeto percent not possible in on pal? That's interesting. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because that's what Rag was saying. Well, Pal can't get to Plateau early. Hmm. Yeah, it's slower. Yeah. Yeah, two-weed Pal is just kind of rough in general. Yeah. I don't know much about like 2e 2e gameplay and run route and whatever just because I've never played it because again like I said earlier I've just never had the opportunity to mm -hmm. reverse BGS adventure happened <laughs> no way yeah I cup died to vile and then died again to the cactus in uh, <coughs> gobies. Ironically, getting a honeycomb piece. How about you? I'm waiting for Zubba Skip. Not of that. all the things you're waiting for, is Zubba Skip? <laughs> Zubba Skip is like 10 be seconds. So funny, though. <laughs> Just like a bit clip set up or something? No. I, I don't even think the Jiggy has collision, so. Yeah, it's just like it's visually bonds. part of the part of yeah, the there's thing. Like, there's a couple jiggies like that, like Tumblr, the Christmas tree, that kind of stuff. Cause if I think I think if the Christmas tree one was a real jiggy, you can kind of you would just be able to peck and get it. Like <laughs> it yeah. wouldn't be that hard. I wonder at like some point that was possible. Like, like how great that would have been if that was in the final game. I mean, maybe it, like, originally was, like, it's hard to say what they chose. Yeah. Maybe they thought of people being able to grab it, like, through the, like, you know, whatever. Through well, the I would imagine it would just be so easy to just peck it and then you just get it. So, I don't know. Oh, baby. Eric's did the beak barge. Yep. I think that saves, like... A few frames or something. Like. <laughs> yeah, Asmi doesn't have to whip out his bat again. I didn't think about speedrunners. That's right. I mean, they kind of did like structure the game for speedrunners, though. Like they put an in-game time for each of the levels, and they structured it pretty well. For, like, the, yeah, but that's that's goals. just for you know data that's fun to know. Like you spent this yeah. much time in this level and that much time. It's it's fun to see that kind of stuff, but it's definitely not for speedrunning. Yeah. I mean they did put like a leaderboard on the Xbox version. Yeah. Which is really cool. But like that's I mean totally that's not, yeah, in that's, game time. So. 
That's There's not 1990s a... either. Yeah, that's true. 2008 though. That's not yeah, bad. I mean, I feel like speedrunning was more in the in the eye a little bit. It's still very niche, but it's like at least more people were aware of it by that point. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a guy, I think for 100%, like, he has like a four second world record because I think he just hacked his save file. They yeah. just don't care to get rid of it. <laughs> it's like, I mean, if you're going to hack your file, you may as well at least make it like one second or zero, zero, zero. Yeah, must have just like opened it for, for like two seconds to check that he got all the collectibles and just quit. Like, yeah. <laughs> I like, go, oh, cool, I, I figured out how to hack this. All right. Uh, that'd be nice to figure out how to hack the save files because like maybe that'd be useful for practicing. What happened? Uh, I cup first died to Vile. He lost Vile round two and like kept getting stuck on like stuff so he couldn't make it out in time. And so he died, redid all of Bubble Gloop, and then he then died like uh, in the honeycomb cactus in Gobies. And after that, it was it was one of those nope, it's midnight already for me. I really don't want to stay up for another hour. So, oh my god! <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Eric's getting that ultra like. Ultra uh, drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The return of Chungus, but at least it's not Dark Chungus. I didn't do a crazy jump scare on myself. <laughs> He didn't sign up. I mean, someone could have signed... Chungus could have signed up under, like, anyone else's name. Although, I guess we've seen everyone do races at this point. Yeah, that would be kind of funny. Just some random speedrunner just going under an alias. And we don't even know who it is. Yeah. That jump scare was pretty crazy... Or funny. I don't know why I was yeah. going to say crazy. <laughs> can be Chungus. I mean, I guess, I, I guess I'm the one that always has Chungus on my screen when I do streams. I guess I'm the real Chungus. Someone needs to make a, a Big Chungus BK hack where it's just sound effects of Big Chungus or something. Every time you jump her. Or like a skin for <laughs> BK. Uh, and you have like a model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like Fat Grunty would be the big chungus though. Yeah, that would be <laughs> that would be hilarious. Like going around playing as like Daffy Duck or something. And, <laughs> like and then get to the final boss of <laughs> Big Chungus. You just ripped the I think there's a Looney Tunes game, right? Uh, there's lots like of Duck Looney Dodgers. Tunes games. I mean for the N sixty four there's Duck Dodgers, yeah. Yeah, just rip that I th I model. Think that's, put it in I think that's the only one. Yeah, I don't know it's just it's super hard to to swap any models in this game. Like all the models are so intricate. Like when, oh, it, really? like, com when it comes to BK's model, like oh, it's just horrible. Like so many moving parts. It's not as simple as like Mario sixty four. Yeah, or, or like Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Yeah, I'd play one of the audio clips from the Duck Dodgers Discord, but I'm afraid it would, like, deafen everyone here. They're pretty loud. <laughs> and I'd probably get DMCA'd. Because it's literally just the Duck Dodgers theme song, as sung by Tom Jones. <laughs> that was a great show. Does anyone remember, though, the original Duck Dodgers shorts? Those were good, too. 
I don't think they were as good, though. But then, uh, then again, the animation was also way terrible. Or way more terrible then. Ooh, Eric's beak, uh, rat attack ratting the, uh, the buzz bomb. Too many words I had to say in a row there. <laughs> Why do they have to put a buzz bomb there? Like it's like the worst enemy in the entire game. I'm not even joking. It's I mean, so come on. Bad. This is this is the last level in the game, right? There's got to be some difficulty in like moving around. Yeah, but it's like what? Just uh, it's it's bad. It's the same. It's the same as in Tui. There's like that one B at the top of the click clock uh, lobby. That just like mm -hmm. you know. It moves, then it doesn't, then it does, then it doesn't, and it's like, what's he gonna do? And then he knocks you off and you're dead. Yeah. Although I gotta be real with you guys, like, favorite Looney Tune character, Go, by the way, anyone in chat, I gotta say Marvin the Martian is probably my favorite Looney Tune character. Does anyone have any, like, controversial favorite Looney Tunes characters that, like, aren't in the, like, limelight of Looney Tunes? The Tasmanian Devil is another good one. I think my second favorite, of course, would be Foghorn Leghorn. The Roadrunner. I think the Roadrunner is probably a pretty controversial favorite cartoon character, or Looney Tunes <laughs> character. Because you could say, nice. like, you could say he, like, makes a cameo in every episode, right? Like, because, sure, it's the Roadrunner and Coyote show. But, I mean, the Roadrunner just shows up and then runs off. Hey, D. People have already made that joke, yeah. TSR, did you watch much Looney Tunes? Uh, Are you old enough to really. have watched much Looney Tunes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably. I mean, I I watched like they had like this show on like Cartoon Network. Yeah, I mean, there's like new Looney Tunes as well and stuff yeah. like that. So, but I mean, it's all the same characters and shorts, right? Yeah. There's like a different art style and stuff. So. Yeah, meep meep, and then he does the. Blah, 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 blah kind of sticking his tongue out. There wasn't that much Looney Tunes when you were a kid. Looney Tunes was like always on because it was like one of my dad's favorite things to watch. I also loved me some Sylvester and Tweety. Oh, not in Sweden, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got 50 feathers in here? Jeez. Yeah, it's like, up. every time I entered winter with like 50 feathers, I'd still have like 5 left when I was done. <laughs> yeah. My winners are always pretty bad. All the memes of grandma with the gun. I thought Grandma was a pretty mid Looney Tunes character, not gonna lie. She was another one of the characters who was like, just there. I mean, she was important to the story, because I mean, you know. Isn't there like a baby Looney Tunes show? Uh, I, I don't know why I remember that, but... Uh, Tiny Tunes. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Tiny they Tunes like, was a Warner For some Brothers. reason... I don't know if it's because of like Rugrats or something. Like all these, like cartoon characters got like baby version shows. Like, like well, Muppets I mean, and, like... I think I don't know if Tiny Toons is older than Rugrats, because Tiny Toons was on back mm. then too. But I mean, Tiny so. Toons was something that went more along the lines of like Animaniacs, I think, because Tiny Toons like still took place at the Warner Bros. Like, oh, interesting. The Warner Bros. Uh, 
like headquarters kind of thing, same as like Looney Tunes. It was like a meta show, you know. I guess it was good for that Looney Tunes lore. <laughs> we got to know all the characters' backstories or something. Oh yeah, I guess I guess Tiny Tunes was an Animaniacs thing, but it wasn't like a Looney Tunes babies. Yeah, Tiny Tiny Tunes was like young Looney Tunes like characters learning to be like actual cartoons, right? I can't I can't remember. It was too far back. And I've never played the Taz Wanted game. I, I know, that's that's what I'm saying, Batatsu. Like, I know that they're two different series, but I was thinking of, like, Tiny Toons. Tiny Toons did have the Looney Toons characters in it, though, didn't it? Like, sometimes they made cameos. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> was... That was interesting. Optimal like, oh Mother my Tokyo. god. That was an insane jump. I don't know if he knew he was going to land on the platform down there, but... Yeah, he really want. Oh right, they were teachers. That's right, they were the teachers in that show. That's right. It's been too long. Yeah, that was a jump scare for sure. I don't know. I, I feel like there was just a really weird like trend with like baby version shows of popular characters. Ah, oh, failed too. I don't, I don't know why that happened or what, you know, what caused that. I mean, that. yeah, it's one of those things that's, like, cute, right? And, I mean, I don't mm -hmm. think, like, Rugrats started it because, I mean, that was just a show about babies. Like, I mean, they, yeah. they did the reverse. They had, like, all grown up afterwards, right? Yeah. That was like, oh, now they're in high school. <laughs> now it's boring. <laughs> yeah. It definitely wasn't as good. Yeah. Baby Muppets started it? I suppose. Baby Muppets is pretty old. Baby, yeah. I never watched any of the Muppet shows. I think those were like, and things like Fraggle Rock. I mean, Sesame Street, yeah, but that's kind of different. It's crazy how many episodes of Sesame Street there are. Yeah. But I mean, it's just like other shows. Like, I remember when Twitch did the, uh,. Mr. Rogers Marathon a bunch of years ago. They played all the episodes starting from like episode one and it like took like a couple months to go through the entire series. Yeah. Well, because I mean the show was like happening since like the 60s or 50s or something, right? Mm-hmm. And it went all the way up until like the 2000s. Oh my god, the bees got a little bit too close. Yeah, this is exactly yeah, I, what I, I grew did. up on Sesame Street, so. Yeah. And Canadian like an programming, HBO. like Mr. Dress Up. Not the bees. No, not the bees. Not the bees are in my eyes. Ah! Never seen Sesame Street. That is really interesting. Sesame Street had two of my favorite characters from from ever. It was like the two aliens, like the red and blue aliens, that they like come across stuff and they're like, oh, oh, yup, 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 nope, dum, 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 dum. <laughs> if if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just Google Sesame Street aliens and you'll see them. They're like the best characters ever from the show. And yeah, Mumbo, uh, I Cup died to Vile, and then uh, died in Gobies, and then he was like, you know what, it's quarter after midnight, I'm going to bed. And we were like, that is understandable. Have a good day. <laughs> uh, Eric, you can't get in there. But there we go. Anim Animaniacs is always funny. Animaniacs is one of those shows that I always looked back with like, rose-colored glasses and was like I wonder if I should go back and watch old episodes because like maybe it's still funny and I think it holds up I think Animaniacs had pretty good humor that's like good for adults and children mm -hmm. 
Like, all the pinky and the brain sketches and stuff like that were always, like, super funny to me. Yeah. Hello, nurse. And then, I mean, I'm sure you can search, like, a, uh... I'm sure you could search a, uh... Compilation on YouTube of something of all, like, the hidden dirty jokes in Animaniacs. Oh, yeah. They always have those. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff like that in all sorts of shows. Like, you know, when you're a kid, you watch shows and you're like, haha, that's so funny. Oh, he voided! Oh. Rip. Gonna have oh, to well, it's only like a couple go seconds. Around again. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of it's kind of difficult. Cause you can't, you don't really know where you're at. Yeah. Like you have that muscle memory. But then you watch the same show again, like as an adult, and you're like, man. I, like, I would have never known to look for this, but it just, it was right there. Like, uh, mm -hmm. one of my favorite shows, like, growing up was, uh, Cow and Chicken. And, uh, I don't know if anyone in here watched that. It was a Cartoon Network show, but, I mean, it was on other stations, because Canada doesn't have Cartoon Network, but... Anyway, a lot of, lot of bad jokes in that show, for sure. Yeah. Same thing with uh, other shows, like, uh, yeah, The Red Guy, and uh, Rocco's Modern Life is another good example. That was a weird camera. Yeah, it just sometimes happens. <laughs> I tried to get it from the other side, but fell off. I don't know what that setup was. At, at this point, you just, like, fly around the room. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I am Weasel and... Oh. I am Weasel and I are Baboon. That was a good sketch. This room is rough. Cause oh, hey, please! Oh, he's just flying downstairs. Yeah. He's done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just going down the stairs. That room's difficult because, like, it there's is. an FPS cap in that, and like it, that changes actually like the bees like turning angle. Yeah, especially if you uh, you miss like anything. Yeah. Mhm. Mm huh. Nice clip. You mean Rocco working in the sex hotline wasn't meant for little ones? <laughs> I'm sure there's worse stuff that came out of that show. Like, I, another, like, classic show for, like, kids, but not really, you know, Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy mm -hmm. had a lot of humor in it, though, that I feel like was made only for adults. Like, Ren and Stimpy was a very meta show. I feel like uh, Eric's is down a token here. I'm not sh well. I mean, there's a million tokens in Bubble Loop, so not that big of a deal. But I feel like he should have had seven there, or maybe you're supposed to have five. I don't know. Yeah. Five would make sense because he wasn't meant to like jump down and grab the one at the top of Winner. Courage the Cowardly Dog is a show that I liked when I was a kid, but then when I watched it as an adult, I thought, why did I like this show when I was a kid? Because, <laughs> like, it's funny, but it's, like, it's not that funny. Yeah. Yeah, everyone knows the, the tablet episode. Yeah, Courage, for me, it was very forgettable. Courage had great jokes. I can't remember any of them. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shows do you remember fondly, TSR? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, probably nothing y'all would probably know. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, 
mean, honestly, probably like Sesame Street or like something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, gotta gotta go a little bit more forward in time. Yeah. Um. What did I like? <laughs> Star Wars: The Clone Wars. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Clone Wars is good. Yeah. Like, Clone Wars is like I didn't really like Clone Wars that much when I watched it as a kid, but then as I started watching it when I was older, I was like, man, this is like one of the best Star Wars like things that exists. Because yeah, it really did like the prequels justice. Totally spies. Was... Totally spies was anime for North America. I liked it though. It was just something to watch. Like when you're a kid, you're watching TV on like weekdays, weekends, whatever. You're not picky. You just watch whatever's on. I didn't even notice how close that was. Damn. Billy and Mandy I did not enjoy growing up. I always thought the cartoon was really dumb. And I mean, even now, like, I like Grimm, but all the rest of the characters are, like, really just... I don't really like them that much. It's the same thing with uh, Invader Zim. Like, I just never got into that show. There's like a long list of shows that like other people liked watching around me, but I just never thought were very funny. Like Venture Bros is another one of those shows. Something I was always excited for was like a second season of Clone High. And then when they finally like came out with it, I thought it was like okay, but it's just not the same without Gandhi. And undergrads. I think under undergrads was only on a Canadian station as far as I'm aware. But I don't know if anyone here uh, watched undergrads at all. I watched undergrads as a high schooler thinking, oh, so this is what post-secondary education is going to be like. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I watched it. I, I don't remember how old I was when I watched it. It, it would have been around 14 or 15, I think. But yeah, dude, Cal is like my favorite character for sure. But yeah, I, I took, I was like, yes, this is what it's going to be like going to a university. And then it like, it was a lot more eating Chinese food than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, if anyone here wants a good watch that's kind of like dumb adult humor, go watch Undergrads. It's only like 10 episodes or something like that. But it's great. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think a lot of things on TV are disconnected from, you know, a lot of things in reality. Mm hmm because it's like, life isn't always funny, right? But TV's got to yeah. be funny. Or dramatic. <laughs> oh, I like how Eric's got into Talon Trot on top of the turtle there since he was, like, all the way at the back of the room. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
So having a look at Eric's splits going into the end of Bubble Gloop here, it looks like he's had like, I mean not the best run, but he's had a run. Got a gold split in Freeze Easy Peak. And then lost a lot of time like somewhere between 450 Note Door Skip <laughs> and Rusty Bucket mm -hmm. Bay. But he skipped all those splits just because he had to do the levels out of order. And then ever since the end of RBB, he's done nothing but save time on his splits. So, so currently sitting at two and a half minutes in the plus. So best possible time at a 2.11.11. So we got another probably 15, 14 minutes or so. Man, I like right before the race started, I ran to go like grab some water, and I've taken like so few sips of it. Which is really funny because I've actually been talking more during this race than I think I have in like the last couple of races I've done. Actually, maybe not. I don't know if I've had co hosts in the last couple of races. Well, I know I had, uh,. I had Tyson in the last one, and that was fun. Because, I mean, we did nothing but meme on him from his last race. <laughs> I added that cookie sound clip to this Discord, by the way, so anyone who's hosting races can use it. And I'm sure that's definitely something that, like, won't be abused. <laughs> but it's just, like, such a perfect clip. Let's play it. Yeah. <laughs> That's some Tyson server. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it on theirs, and I think he said that it's on... Um... Oh, did it not save to this one? I thought I did add it to this one. We are speed running this bitch. Yeah, I don't see it on the thing, so maybe I didn't uh, upload it properly. Having a co-commentator makes everything a lot more fun. It really does. And it's also a lot easier on the voice because, you know, mm -hmm. like two good commentators kind of know like when to take the lead too. So it's like, you know, I mean, the hard part is like not talking over each other, which happens from time to time. Yeah. Just depends on who's talking about what, but... You know, commentating with other people is like you can you know there's banter you can respond to stuff in chat and if you're tired of talking you just stop talking and the other person can talk I really dislike when it's just radio silence but I mean sometimes it just happens Tyson and Schlong panicking over Harpy's second fan yeah I mean that's just Freaking out is just so much more fun when you're freaking out with someone, right? Because it's kind of like two people feeding on each other's, like, energy at that point. So Eric Sanks hasn't used the shoes at all. Oh my I think, god. I think he's doing it to send a message. <laughs> Oh, now setting he's got up the his shoes. No FFM debut. <laughs> of course, now he's got to go ham on the Yumblies. Yeah. Oh, RG! Okay. If a Yumbly would have popped up right in front of Vile there, that would have been like such a terrible way to lose round two. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's like, just the thing. Like, Pixel's great at commentating, and, I mean, so is Welsh. Welsh always has something to say, which is nice. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Oh, whoa, I can't believe he actually got that Yumbly. He, like, ate it through Vile's body. Man. Like, just bit straight through his stomach and just grabbed it right out of there. Alright. Finishing yep. Vile. No deaths to Vile. No death. <laughs> Thank goodness. Just have to grab a few more notes and then we're in the safe. Mm -hmm. I mean, could a death happen? I mean, it, it I could, but... There is that buzz like, bomb. Yeah, that buzz bomb just coming out of nowhere. But, I think you you can like run faster than it kind of thing because it always goes to where you like are uh oh it's stuck on the thing uh... oh no it's not coming down eric's senior why does it do that oh, oh man what did now it just disappeared oh there it is huh i what the hell is going on there i've never seen it come down yeah, it Was went it up and up, water? and then it eventually, like, eventually just got loose. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe it was the water, because there's, like, some weird, like, transparency problems in this game when it comes to, like, 2D stuff. Yeah. It's funny how we were just talking about, like, is there any way for him to die early, and then it's just, like, <laughs> the buzz bomb was, like, nah, nah, nah. He's well, getting now these there's a way for him to die late. <laughs> yeah. The opposite. Alright, one last thing to do. We gotta do some, uh... Nimpulk skip. Furnace fun. I, I was... Yeah. I think I was about to say Furnace Fun, then I didn't, and then I was like, <laughs> what am I even talking about here? I'm tired. I've had a headache literally the entire day. <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed. Oh! Wow. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Those were hilarious jumps. He, like, didn't move, but it played the jumping sound. Backflip, let's, let's go. Those were hilarious could... jumps. Yeah. Alrighty. Six, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know many of the answers to this quiz. Oh, it's our friendly it's, so It's Mrs. Pyle, for sure. Yep. I don't even know how many yeah. molehills. Everyone's always like, when in doubt, hit the middle one, and then every time I guess the middle one, I guess it wrong. I think like 90% of the time the answer to the number of questions are like, is 8? Damn, you got a sound question wrong? How dare Well, that it is. gave red feathers and gold feathers, like... Oh. It was like gold feathers, red feathers, and then feather pillow. What's the impulk? I swear, the longer runs always have, like, the better Nimpulse skip. I just, I just <laughs> don't get it. I know. Like, when I do freaking 80%, it takes me forever to get Nimpulse skip. Yeah. You always, like, get Nimpulse skip when you're, like, not on PV pace. Yeah. When's backflipless going onto the Miamer board? Can you even beat the game backflipless? You can even get to Clankers. <laughs> I don't think so, maybe. You can definitely skip learning backflip though up until like TTC. I mean you can't like, you can't get into bubble gloop, but you can still get enough yeah. genes to beat the game, right? I think. You can't a hundred percent the game, but You could do what you could do is like uh, 
MM, TGC. Wait, how many notes do you need? It's 180, right? For that. The, for the room with. Uh, yeah. Uh, or the uh, one yeah. outside of Clankers? Yeah. Isn't it 280? Is it 280? No, because. Yeah. Well, it's 350 to get through to the Gobi's puzzle. It's 260 for the statue room, so it must be something like 180. Oh, okay. Something 100 something, maybe. So maybe you could, like, um, do BGS early, get in there, get the notes, and then you'll have enough to open the 260 note door. Yeah. And then... I think it's, I think you could probably make something up. That would be kind of cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You can't get past the 810 note door if you don't go into bubble group. Well, I mean, you could be the bee. Yeah, I just fly into bubble gloop and collect notes that way. In the context of like DDA, I guess you could like do pretty much any um, like moveless category. But the problem is you already have all the, uh, the moves learned. All right, team, get on it. Backflipless, gonna be a thing. <laughs> Back flipless tournament yep. 2024. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering like there's Rando gotta be back something flipless. you can't backflip. <laughs> I mean, you could just you could skip backflip. You could you can do like the cool thing and like go around like the invisible wall and spiral. So you could you'd have to actually talk to freaking all the bottles though. You could you can't learn all the moves at once, which would be kind of boring. You could learn all the moves at once, couldn't you? Well, then you'd learn backflip. Well, you'd learn it, the but... The point is, like, not to learn it. Bottles won't let you, uh, across the bridge if you don't learn it, right? Well, I guess if you do bottle skip. <laughs> yeah, we can go around... You can go around it, though. There's a way you can do that. It's not, it's not that difficult. You, like, jump on the chin, and then you, like, go around it. Yeah. But, I mean, if you do normal bottle skip, you don't have to learn the moves, right? Uh, I think he, I don't think he, the bridge isn't made yet, so I don't think he actually, like, talks to you yet, when you're up there. So I don't know. It's an inter interesting concept. The category extension yeah. meme rewards grow. <laughs> Pacifist I I, mode? I, I that mean, sucks for the, till you have to kill Granny. We technically don't well, kill her. Yeah. So. I mean, technically, it's not you beating on Grunny either. It's Gingenator. Well, you're not. Yeah, well, yeah. you do have to shoot eggs and do the beak bombs. It doesn't mean that. You, I mean, passive, it just means you don't kill, right? Well, technically, she doesn't die. She just gets stuck under a rock. Like, even in Tui, when she's a decapitated head being hacky sacked around on top of her own tower, like. She's still alive. Yeah. Like, Runny never actually dies at any point in the Banjo, like, lore. <laughs> Alright, time coming up on Eric's. We've had some fun conversations. Yeah. <laughs> time! Dang. GG's. GG's. Alright, let's pull him in. Want me to pull him in? Oh, yeah. I, no, I got it. Hey Eric's GGs. Oh, what's up? GGs. GGs. I'm sure you had a lot of fun there. <laughs> uh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Let's play the. <laughs> like clap, clap. Yeah, clappa, clappa. So I'm. I don't clappa. know if you saw that uh, I Cup got pulled out a while back. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, well, I didn't know until Baynal came to my chat. It was after RBB. Uh huh. He said, like, you win. And I was so confused, like, wait, is yeah. that a, a support so... chat or actually <laughs> win? So I went I went to the to your Banjo Race channel and then I saw the black screen from iCup. Yeah. yeah. So what, I don't know if you know what happened, but iCup. No, what happened? Well, first off, he lost Vial round two, and he oh, could have he could have made it out in time, but he got stuck on the ledge, and then he got stuck on the doorway, and 
Vial ended up nipping him right before he was about to go through the loading zone, and so he died. Oh, no. And then so he had to redo all of Bubble Gloop, and then when he was doing yeah. gobies, he uh, died getting the honeycomb through the cactus. And after that, he was just like, nah, dog. <laughs> uh, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, es especially, after, enough. especially after I kept talked about like being up since 5 a.m. And it was already midnight for him at that point. Like it would be almost, yeah, it was it would too be, late. It would be almost 1.30 in the morning for him right now. So yeah, he was just like, sorry, guys, I gotta, I'm just gonna dip here. So yeah. Oh my god, that that's kind of. Unfortunate. I mean, this race was not scheduled for today, so I kind of feel <laughs> bad. Maybe if he was racing tomorrow at proper time. Yeah. Well, I don't know how much finish the run at least. I don't know how much practice Icups had doing BK anyways because he's been doing so much two E practice for his pace run as well. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It is. It is what it is. But. I mean, it's just the way BK goes sometimes. Sometimes you just die. Sometimes you don't. Totally. <laughs> um, it happened to me last race and yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I when died, it, like twice. Where did you die yesterday? I died in a lot of time. I died as pumping before getting the last note, and oh. I died. Uh, Doing That's a the rough death. <laughs> final jump. I died again doing the final jump in Gobbies. Oh, okay, and yeah. I died twice in engine room, so I was like, yep, <laughs> this is gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. This can happen. Um, but yeah, okay. So at, I, it was unfortunate that you ended up landing during your next... Did you just decide not to run back to the flight pad? You were like, nope, I'm just going to Gobies. Oh, yeah. On uh, 450 skip. For this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for this race, I was with the mentality... I knew I could win if I didn't do anything stupid. So for this race, I was like, if I failed uh, that skip... Once I will just go to a no matter how many feathers I have. Oh, okay. I had a lot of feathers, I don't know why. <laughs> but that's I, I didn't want to try it again. I was like, nope, I yeah. I'm not losing more time with this. Like yeah. even even with that, like TSR mentioned that you had like fifty feathers going into winner as well, so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I had that many feathers. Oh and yeah, you scared all of us when you in the at the end of winter when you jumped off the ledge off the ring onto the uh platform below and landed on the mumbo oh, token that's... yeah that was so lucky yeah. I, I i swear i jumped on the flight path <laughs> but somehow yeah. i didn't take flight and i was just i mean <laughs> i i think i think if you w noticed that you didn't fly and you tried to like save it with a ratatat i don't know if you would have been able to make it back so i think like just kind of going all the way to like the platform down below is probably the best thing that could have happened there tbh i didn't even know where i was falling i, <laughs> I did not either if you go back it in the VOD, you'll so see lucky. us just like just like ah! <laughs> <laughs> and then we went <laughs> okay, back to talking about that. looney tunes <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 <sighs> the other thing that was after in, in TTC, I almost died to Nipper, and I was so scared, so, so nervous after that. My hands were shaking, actually shaking. Like, what the fuck? I almost died. I don't <laughs> want to lose this. Yeah. I I oh, didn't notice God, that. Scary. I saw um, Icup actually like he he died to the black crab in the sandcastle without the jiggy. So oh my god! Yeah, he had to run. Yeah. So you were pretty far ahead even after TTC, just because he had to go back into the sandcastle again. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I I don't know what I have. I don't know if I died to Nipper. It was so close. Yeah. <laughs> and I was shaking after that. <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch that because I don't remember that happening. So I think we might have been like watching I I kept do something in TTC at that time, but Oh, okay. Yeah, might be. But yeah, if you, if you see I I 
try the, the skip, Nipper skip with five health. That was so bad. I had five health and I was to the last health. I was, oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh, when you were inside <laughs> the shell? Like when you were yeah, trying inside to the peck shell. him? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of health to lose. Yeah, yeah, I lost a lot of health. And and for some reason, normally I, I recall outside Nipper, but this was this once I was stuck inside and I couldn't move. And I was, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but I didn't, luckily. Yeah. Well, congratulations on moving forward into the tournament. Your next opponent is going to be the winner of Family Jewels versus Divine here. So uh, hopefully they'll uh, schedule up ASAP. I haven't seen oh, Divine playing at all. Yeah, I haven't seen him either. And I think he was going to race Amazing Shake, but then Shake just... Yeah, Retire well, from the tourney. yeah, Shake has like had a like a lot of weird like scheduling things going with him, so he he dropped out. So I think they were they were mm -hmm. going to race, then they had to reschedule, and then so divine. I think divine here has been a, around. So yeah, yeah, but I know that Jules also has a really busy schedule. <laughs> because of all his content <laughs> okay. creation stuff. So hopefully they'll be able to schedule yeah. up sooner than later. And then, you know, you can do your next match. But until then, you got lots of time to practice. <laughs> I got to practice. Yeah, I, I yeah. need to play more. I mean, I don't have much time, but I need to play at least. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> they they had to can't they had to reschedule or can't, they had to reschedule because Divine was stuck in traffic on the way back to his state. And so he had to, like, he would have never made it home at all for that day. So, yeah, and then, and then, yeah, Shake decided to uh, drop out of that one. That's right, that's right. Oh, it's not coming back to me. That's unfortunate, too. Anyways, I'm all done here. Uh, oh, yeah, one other thing that I thought was pretty funny was uh, your, um, the... Talentrot jumps up the leaves on the way to uh, Furnace Fun. I thought it was funny that you were making jumping sounds, but like you weren't jumping. <laughs> oh yeah, I got stuck somehow in the leaf. Yeah. Twice on both <laughs> leaves it happened. Twice, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. That was weird. Anyways, I'm out of here for the night. I'm going to go ahead and raid Miam because she's doing some Banjo-Kazooie 100%. So nice. Yep. It's been a slice, you guys. Anything else to say about the race before we cut it off? No. No, Good that's race. it. GG's. Awesome. Thank you so much for hosting GDO and Yeah. So sorry for I <laughs> completed the finish. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a good night everybody.